already know the drill. Scrum Nagel saw it off the day. A little slow, but decently smooth. Overall, good time. Ryan's actually here today. Haven't seen him since before Florida, which is a little over a month ago. He and Ellis actually did something pretty cool that I did not get to, but I'll have Ryan talk about that in just a bit. He's riding Catwoman, which I have no desire to ride because I rode it back in May and hated every second. So I'm gonna go to Justice League, get a few rides on that, and then I'll go to Mr. Freeze. I usually do Boss after Eagle, but I saw they're not open yet. They're still spraying some water on some of the tracks. So that's gonna be not opening for a while. So let's head down towards Justice League and see if I can replicate my last time on this, which is the first try double max. So let's head down there. Got a couple rides on Justice League. First one actually got stuck in front of Joker and Ryan actually joined for one of them. You got it first try. First try, uh, second to last stream. You and Alice got to do something pretty cool recently. You want to explain what it is? We uh, took a trip to uh, Lost Island Park and Adventureland in Iowa. Yeah, they were just there, I think last week is that? Uh, uh, last week, Wednesday, Thursday. If Alice joins us later, which I think he might be, I'll be sure to get some of his thoughts on some of the rides, but what do you think of like Monster and Matsugani? They were both. Which did you like better? Uh, Monster. Monster was my favorite. Monster? See, I think I would like Monster Gotti better. I wonder what Ellis thought of that hydraulic launch, because you and I have done a lot of hydraulic launch coasters. Oh, yeah, pretty much all of them. Yeah, the only one I think, yeah, that's the only one I have over him as Accelerator, but yeah. I appreciate like the hydraulic launch, but he also thinks Monster was the best ride in the park. Or best one of the trip, I should say. Oh, yeah. We both think Monster was the best. We just did Mr. Freeze twice the run. What were you doing on that so, second ride? <laughs> second ride, I like put my hands up front of the car, then I put them on my seat, and I just kept doing that over and over again. Yeah, he's crazy. Going up the end for a top hat, he did that. I lost it. It was so funny. I don't know what you're thinking, bro. Like, <laughs> that was really funny. I'm like, you're gonna hurt your hands, bro. Well, the smack hurt my hand a little bit. Well, duh. Was... I mean, to do that, going up the end for a top hat, you're crazy. We're gonna try the back row now, because we were gonna try the back row on the second ride, but we saw there was one train away from the back, not even anybody in the front, so we did the front again. Let's see how back row is. <laughs> by the yacht but I was in the front row of the red train so the airtime wasn't that good. It was probably my least favorite ride of the day between that or Screaming Eagle. So let's actually try Mr. Freeze again since we're right here and see if it's running any better.
Round four on Mr. Freeze was good. And then I got Red Blaster on car five, which I absolutely killed it with. I tried to start shooting with the second blaster at the end of the second screen. Well, little did I know that this blaster was broken, so I didn't max it at the end of the second screen. I had like 996,900, so that was a bit weird. Second to back row on Screaming Eagle was definitely my favorite ride of the day. What'd you think about it? It was so good. Strong airtime on all the drops. Pretty which... much every single hill except for the dud hill. We don't talk about that moment. Now we're gonna try Boss again, see how it was running earlier today. Cause I thought it was running solid, but not the best I've seen it run. So we'll see if it's gotten any better. <laughs> bit since we did our last update but we did boss batman and ninja boss on one of our rides we actually oversped we slammed to a stop on the final break run which it rarely does that brian you actually did second to back row how was it rough but bearable <laughs> yeah you told me there was a bit of a shuffle to it yeah it was shuffling for the first half the final big turnaround section yeah the turnout to the mid course yeah and the drop after that is really good yeah, it, it can be really good. And then we did Batman front row. That was your first time riding in the front, you said, since April? April? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's been a while. We did the back quite a bit recently. I thought it was really solid. I mean, I was on the inner seat, he was on the outer seat. Pretty intense, but I think my rides last week were better. And then we did Ninja. Well, gee, that ride's really good, honestly. One of the most underrated things out there. Because yeah. everyone, like, absolutely hates it. We like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, granted, we probably learned how to ride it, so that's probably why. We're about to ride River King Mine Train now. We'll see how that ride is. That's three clues now you're out of here, enjoy your ride! ragdoll both rides to see which ride would be more insane and we got more insanity in the front rather than the back because a lot of the turns in the front had lateral jolts and those sent us flying across the train into each other so that was kind of funny in the back i didn't really get that same amount of lateral jolts and also when i did get them like my ribs were hurting because of how it throws me inside the train so i kind of figured that was a bad idea but i was doing it out of more of a curiosity i'm gonna try mr freeze now and see how that's running because i've done it, i think four times today so let's do number five Justice League to end of the day. And my final ride count was 14 on Justice League, five on Mr. Freeze, three on Boss, two on River King Mind Train, two on Screaming Eagle, and then one on American Thunder, Batman, and Ninja. Ryan, what'd you get on today? Oh, great. <laughs> you put me up. Okay, three on American Thunder, four on Boss, two on Screaming Eagle, six on Mr. Freeze, two on Mind Train, one on Batman, and six on Justice League. Ninja, I got one on. In terms of highlights from today, Eagle in the second and back was really good. Later rides on Boss were good. Freeze is good. Ninja was surprisingly good today as well. Yeah, Ninja was a lot better than I thought it would be. Ragdolly on River King Mine Train. That was so funny. That was like high key the funniest part of the
the entire day. Like, oh man, especially in the front, that was something. Really the only ride I would say was a disappointment today was my ride on American Thunder, which I didn't get that much air time, but Ryan rode it twice more in the back. You said it was better, which I wouldn't know. I only rode it once, did front in row red, red train. train. And I did back of the blue train twice. By all accounts, did I not get the best ride experience possible today? Because I've seen it run much, much better. In fact, last time we were here, we said that thing was running close to 2019. Oh, it really was. It was so good. Yeah, today for me, it was nowhere close. But overall, I would say today was a good day. And actually, I'll be here tomorrow as well. And there will be extra ride time for one hour at the park. It's kind of like you saw in last vlog, where it was on Batman, Ninja, and some of the other rides. It'll be the same thing, but for Mr. Freeze and American Thunder. So actually, let's jump today too. Another day, another blue train ride, and another Zen ride? Seems possible if you ask me, because there's literally no one else here. What's better than one Zen ride on Scream and Eagle to start my day? Two of them. I did not have to leave my seat, which is nice. Got front row, blue train twice in a row. While it wasn't as good as my ride in the second and back row yesterday, I thought it was better than my front row ride. I actually saw three deer out on the ride course. There were two of them to the left on the front of Airtime Hills. After this Airtime Hill, which the train's going over right now, there was another one at the bottom of the drop off the turnaround next to the boss's lift hill on the left side. Overall, Scream Eagle, I'll say a good way to start the day as usual. It looks like boss isn't open yet. There's spraying water up on the turnout to the big course. So let's head down towards Justice League and get working towards 1700, which I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm hitting my 1700th max score today.
to go and that was amazing. It was another one of those rides where it was going so fast into the final brakes that it slammed to a stop for a couple seconds and it was awesome. A little rougher on the same part of the double down, but on that it wasn't bad. I was gonna ride River King Mine Train with my friend Kate and also her friend Lily, but that had a huge line. So I'm gonna try her thunder and let them know how long the line is because they have some divot dots. They're gonna finish that real fast and they can take a ride on this. So I'm gonna give it a test run over here. because I was gonna ride that I think last week, but it was down when I got there. So let's try and make up for it and ride today. Plus it's a really nice day outside. So let's get some shots from above. <laughs>
and then I'm gonna get my wristband for the after hours event tonight once I get off of that. So let's, uh, I guess, wait for the train to depart the station. <laughs> Justice League until the extra ride time on Mr. Freeze and American Thunder begins. So I'm gonna start doing that and I'm actually three away from 1700 so that's exciting. Very 
impressive marathon there on Justice League. I got some double max sewn in there for good measure. Now it is time for the ERT, which is for me an hour's worth of rides on Mr. Freeze. So let's see how many we get in an hour. I'm predicting possibly eight at least. So let's see how many we get. Just realized that getting eight rides within an hour might be a little bit difficult because they're only running side B for this after hours event. So I want to see how many rides I can get regardless of that. <laughs> just saw was the last ride of the night on Mr. Freeze. I was the second to last train of the night. Even though I did not get the last ride of the night, I got up to 10 rides on it, which is my goal for today. I'll review my final ride count and I'll share what I did today. Oh gosh, there's a skunk over there. I best stay away from him. Today's final ride count was 19 on Justice League, 10 on Mr. Freeze, 2 on Screaming Eagle, and then 1 on American Thunder, Boss, Colossus, and the Tommy G. Robertson Railroad. Now let's review the ride count over both days and see what I did. In terms of my ride count from both days, it was 33 on Justice League, 15 on Mr. Freeze, 4 on Boss, 3 on Screaming Eagle, 2 on American Thunder and River King Mine Train, and then 1 on Batman, Colossus, Ninja, and the Tommy G. Robertson Railroad. In terms of highlights, the Double Maxes I got, the Marathon on Mr. Freeze, getting to hang out with my friends Kate and Lily, those are awesome. Overall, I had a great time here. And before we click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to the channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Ellis's birthday is in a couple days as of when I'm recording this, so I might be able to stop in here because he's having a birthday celebration at the park. And if so, I'll shoot a vlog from that. Till then, I'll see you later. Thank you.